All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Sorry for that. I had a little bit of a technical glitch there. Um, I'm going to wait just a few minutes to see if anybody comes on board here, see what we're doing. So today we are going to tap just like we did yesterday and just like we'll do tomorrow. Today is the De-Stress Express. And in just a few short minutes, we are going to do some tapping together and I'm going to guide you into a state of feeling calm and at ease and ready for whatever else you have going on in your day. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna get started right away. So go ahead, take a seat. Good morning and thank you for joining me, ladies. <clears throat> so I want you to just take a seat, get comfortable wherever you might be and just, just kind of shake it out. Shake out that, that morning. Some of you are starting your day right now. Some of you are probably in the middle of your day. Just, just ease into how you're feeling and notice as we come in and be present right now, right here. So before we begin, I'm just going to do a really quick overview on our tapping points that we're going to be working on today. We'll do that and then we'll jump right into the tap. So as we start, we're going to tap right on the side of our hand here. This is going to be called our karate chop point. And after that, we're going to move into our eyebrow point, which is right, I like to call it our mid middle eye point as well, right in between your eyes here. And then we move to the side of the eye under your eye. This one can be a little tricky sometimes. It's just mouth under your nose and under your mouth at the same time. Then we're moving to our collarbone point, collarbone. This is going to be right where the sternum and the collarbone meet. There's kind of a little bit of a sore spot there. Then we move to our under our arms right about here where the um, women's bra strap is, is about four inches under the armpit. And the next point is going to be our wrist point, which is just, this one's a little tricky to see, just right across both sides of your wrist here. Tap on those and then we'll move to the side of the head. Welcome to everybody who's just joined in. Thanks for tuning in this morning. So now I want you to take a look at your levels of stress. If you wanna take a minute, close your eyes and just begin to notice. Think about what's present for you. There's a lot of change that's happening in everybody's life right now. Some people are being affected more than others, but there is an overall state of global stress, I think you could say. So sit down and just look at that stress and notice how is that affecting you and how are you feeling with that and give it a number on a scale of one to 10, one being it's not really there, you don't notice it at all, to 10 being it's off the charts, you can barely function right now. I know if you can write that down, great. If you can't, just take a mental note of it and we will continue from there. If any of you who are here right now, if there's any particular thing that you're feeling stressed about, go ahead and put that into the comments right now and we can actually tap on that specific thing for you if you would like to. So we'll go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so just take in a deep breath and relax. And we're gonna tap on the side of our hand here. And you will just repeat after me. So I'll say, and then you say. And also sometimes I tend to be fast. Please leave a comment if I need to slow down. You can help me out in that way. I don't wanna leave you guys behind. So even though there's all this stress and it's preventing me from feeling calm. And it's preventing me 
from feeling relaxed. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to let this stress go. Maybe because I'm afraid. Maybe because I don't know what's happening. And maybe because I'm worried about the future. And there's this really big part of me that doesn't want to let this stress go. Maybe because and to apologize for that, I messed up. <laughs> but we're going to keep moving on. Um, I want to find a way to love and accept myself and all of my parts completely. Even though, we're going to repeat this again, even though there's all the stress about the world and my life and it's preventing me from feeling at ease and it's preventing me from trusting the process and it's preventing me from feeling good. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to let this go. Maybe because I'm just too afraid. Or maybe because there's so much uncertainty in the future. Maybe because I don't know when I'm going to get a paycheck again. And there's somehow find a way to love and accept myself and all of my parts completely. And we're going to repeat that process one more time, even though there's all this stress and it's preventing me from feeling calm and it's preventing me from feeling at peace. And there's a part of me that doesn't want to let this stress go. Maybe because I'm terrified or maybe because I'm worried or maybe because there's so much certainty about the future and I don't know how I'm going to function with it. And I want to find a way to get to the bottom of this and love and accept myself and all of my parts completely. So we're going to shake that out and move to the top of your head to your middle eye point. Taking in a deep breath, the stress, all the stress about the world right now, all the uncertainty, all the unknowing, really afraid, and I'm really stressed out, and I don't know what to do. All the stress, all the stress inside my body. Just take note right now where you're feeling that in your body. Maybe you're feeling it in your chest, in your stomach. Maybe it's in your head. And just recognize that and acknowledge that. All the stress. I want to find a way to somehow let it go but I just don't know how. I've never been through anything like this before and I don't know how to cope, but I really wanna find a way to let go and release this stress and anxiety and over, overwhelm that I'm feeling. Maybe there's a way that I can move through this and move past this this stress and this worry and this anxiety. I want to find a way to feel good and feel calm and at ease. All this stress, all this worry. Maybe there is a way that I can let it go Maybe I can somehow move past this and find 
the positivity in it. Maybe there is actually something good that come out of that can come out of this. And maybe the answers right now, but I can be open to them. And I know that there's support and there is encouragement. And I'm not in this alone. The whole world is going through this struggle right now. And we're all going through this together. And together we're uniting. And helping each other. So I stop now when I look and I acknowledge any remaining stress inside of me. And I choose now to let it go. I choose to remember to breathe. And I choose to feel safe. And I choose to remember all the support that I have And I choose to feel calm now. Knowing that no matter what happens, everything happens as it should. And I give thanks for this knowing. And I choose to let it all go and feel at peace and feel at ease with all things now. So go ahead, take in a deep breath. Check in on that number again that we started with when we first started. Notice how that feels. Maybe it went up, maybe it went down. Whatever happens, if there was movement, that was great. If there wasn't movement, that's okay. Um, I encourage you as we finish this this call today to keep tapping. If you feel like there's still stuff that's coming up, keep on tapping, tapping on those points. You can't do it wrong. Even if you just sit on the tap on the body, the idea is to tap. And if you can do that, you will notice significant change in your body, how you're feeling and create movement in the energy. So that, um, I think that wraps it up for today. Um, I hope you noticed a change. I hope your stress levels have been reduced a little bit. If you enjoyed the tapping session today, we'll be doing this again the next two days. Um, we will be focusing on our stress levels, but if you guys like it, um, please leave me a comment if you have any questions, any any would like to learn more, please join me. Uh, I would love to do some tapping with you. I can also do, do a lot of private sessions. So just reach out. Um, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Thank you all for joining today. I wish you a very wonderful, blessed, beautiful day and that it is calm and peaceful. Thank you so much.